Hello and welcome back to what I think is going to be the final uh, installment of Prayer of the Faithless. Wow, we've been on a journey, but I think we're ready to get into it, and I'm excited. Hopefully, let's have a good time. So I think we're ready to return to the town. Oops, wrong way. I think I've already gone the wrong way. <laughs> Back up here. Oh, here we go. Skip to south exit. Skip to west. And let's uh, see what's going on here. Let's prepare. I think we're prepared. Yeah, we're, pre we're prepared. Enter. Yeah, please wait. If you're seen in us, there will surely be panic. Here, use this cloak to conceal yourself whenever we visit a populated area. Fallen Arsala Palace. <laughs> We're disguised in this cloak. Paladin Amelie. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Does it have to be sore eyes? Good news, I've managed to quell the, the worst of the rioters. All we have to do is... Wait, where is Queen Mia? Queen Mia, did you did not survive the assault against the Revenant? Oh, you're kidding me. After all this time, struggling for so long, thinking that there might finally be some semblance of hope, she... If we cannot see hope, then all that we can do is keep reaching until we grab it. Call me crazy, but I've got the impression that you have an idea in that head of yours. Correct. I will explain the entire plan later. However, there is a key component we need to enact it. Paladin Vance, please bring Vanessa to us. Of course you'd need Vanessa. It's just our gosh dang luck that you need Vanessa. Vance, what are you talking about? Where is Vanessa? It happened not too long after you left. A jailer went to deliver food to Vanessa's cell. However, he didn't come back after a couple of hours. I went to go look for him and found his unconscious body in Vanessa's old cell. Oh. The rest of the knights and I put the castle on full alert to locate her, but it was no use. She was gone. Old Commandant's gone rogue, eh? Man, nothing's ever easy, is it? Luckily, I think I know where she might have gone. I followed the trail of bodies from Vanessa's cell to the docks, only to find the boat you used to get to the Odyssey missing. Keep in mind that Vanessa broke out not too long before the Odyssey set off with its first pack of evacuees. So Vanessa stowed away on the Odyssey to reach Kakuti. And that's where you believe she is. She planned on creating a new Asla in Kakuti or something? Since then, the Odyssey has returned and is loading a new group of evacuees. I was planning on sending a squad of knights with the next departure to detain her. Detain her. Then we have no time to lose. We shall go in their stead and bring Vanessa back to enact our plan. In their stead? Why not accompany them and bring her, bring her back together? Because... What are you planning, Amelie? Do you really think Vanessa will return her just because you ask? You better hope she does. Who is this guy? That is not important right now. <laughs> they don't notice that it's air. Vance, please trust me and hold the city together until we come back with Vanessa. What do we have to lose? Very well then. Let us find the docks just outside the city. We'll be traveling to Kakuti then. Okay. Let's leave for Kakuti. Here we are.
Kakuri, Ark of the Chosen. You must be with the next wave of refugees from Asala. Talk to the paladin regarding the guarding the castle gates to get your gear set up. Or maybe you want to take some time and explore this new land. I saw someone leave here not too long ago. No clue where they went, though. I can't believe it. This place really is completely free from the fog. Mia really was telling the truth. I need to apologize to her when I see her again. It's nice when that they believe Mia now, but... Too late. Better cold than dead. Every day I thank my lucky stars that we made it to Kakuri in the first wave. No one said this place would be cold. <laughs> Stop complaining. Phew, finally got all my stuff set up just how I want it. What, get your own tent. What kind of paint was used here? I've been scrubbing the stupid wall all day, but you wouldn't think it. The castle is closed while we have people cleaning up. Until we find you a home, you might want to try some of the tents on the west side. Though if you ask me, we should be focusing more on the tower just northeast of here. I heard its doors opened up all of a sudden. My grandfather used to tell me stories about snowscapes, but I never thought I'd see one in person. Not sure what's going on, truth be told. We heard there was some dangerous material inside the castle, but none of us saw anything. Hung, helm ni, nai thung ith thuck. Well, I guess we can't help them. What do they say, by the way? How do we get in? Tents. On the west side. Maybe I didn't try going into them all. Huh. How do we get in? I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Is it this thing over here? Nope. No idea. Okay, I guess we just leave. <laughs> What's in here? Tower of Sinners. Oh, it's open now. Almighty Spirit. Hello. Look over there. Vanessa? Oh, it's Vanessa. <coughs> I thought I heard footsteps, but... Yeah, why would you be here? Vanessa, it is good to see you again. When we heard you had disappeared from Asala's prison, I feared the worst. Vanessa? Something's wrong. It's like she isn't even talking to us. Ah, I see. Mia has failed. And I see that the Revenant has enthralled the rest of you as well. This is catastrophic a failure as can be. Tch. You have no reason to be here. Asala has been destroyed and humanity will soon mean its end. This is what you wanted, right? Um, so it seems that Vanessa is still hell-bent on believing that the Revenant is a purely evil force, even though we thought she was just trying to convince us that it was the fact. Um... Asla has been destroyed, humanity will soon mean its end, um, and Vanessa feels that that was Air's plan all along, even though I don't think it was. I won't bother you anymore, so just do as you please. I am doing as I please, Vanessa, that's exactly why we're here. What? What? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we need your help. Help? Right now, Asala is destabilizing. If we don't do something, all order will break down before the fog even gets a chance to do its thing. Oh, that's right. We're asking them, her, to lead again. So? That's what you wanted, right? Why do you want to do something about it? Things have changed since then. I know that this doesn't sound sincere coming from me, but I'm trying to help now. You help? Don't make me laugh. 
You are a being of chaos and disorder even before you became a revenant. Even if I believed you, any help you would give would only speed up the destruction of Asuma. The infused plan was destroyed by you and Mia, then you killed her. Any chance Asala had of surviving is long gone. There's no longer any point trying to save it. I came here because I heard this tower was given by God as a way for humans to leave this world behind. If that's true, then I want to find this God and make him pay for the horrors he inflicted on this world. Wow, very vengeful. Leave me, all of you. Go and enjoy the chaotic world you helped create. Well, that could have gone better. I have never seen Vanessa this dispirited before in my life. Something is terribly wrong with her. Looks like she's not planning anything crooked anymore. I say leave her. No, we're going after her. I'm not giving up on her that easily. I wonder why it's better to go after her. And thou shalt cast aside all worldly possessions. Well, there's some worldly possessions back there. All who seek refuge in my arms will be healed. This seems very, you know, on brand for our current uh, religious stuff. Oh, that's a cool design for a, uh, an enemy. I like this one thing that we're going to do right now, which is perfect analysis. Now, what are they weak to? Pierce Earth and Dark. Okay, we can just do some Dark, can't we? What does this one do? Soulfire Blaze? Okay. Blood Rage. Okay, that's, I'm gonna need maybe a little bit more of a uh, strategy, I suppose. Strike, resi strike, what about Pierce? Okay, I'm gonna bring up my wiki again. I forgot to do this before and bring up my Prayer of the Faithless wiki, which has all the... Uh, what it, what's what what I'm strong against and what I need. So let me see, what I will need to do a piercing attack. Um, death wish. Oh, uh, yeah, death wish, which is invoke obelisk, but will awaken obelisk. I haven't lost any. Oh, oopsie. I haven't lost any. Um. Oh well, we'll do running riot. <laughs> I haven't lost any HP. Well, that did a bit better than I thought it might. So far. Please attack me, not her. Um, what else can we do? Because they are weak to... Um, oh, we can do that wind thing that weakens them. We can do Awaken Nero, and then the Wind Attack. Because that reduces their stats, because they're currently increased. Now they're just fine. Um, and like, do an Earth thing, maybe. Maybe we'll throw an Earth... No, we don't need to use any items on them. We're fine without it. Do Dark. Yes. Yeah. We need them to attack air. Why do you keep attacking her? Oh well, I wanted you to attack air. Um, so it's either Pierce, Earth or Dark. Let me see if I have any... Oh, Morning Star. But they don't have any emotional ailments, so we don't need to do that. Dark. We can just do Running Riot again. I kind of like that one. And then finish with this, another Soul Fire Drain. Nice. 
I don't think that fight was very worth it. It was such a strong, not a super strong, but it was quite a strong one. And thou were filthy, so the Lord shall provide thee with water to clean thyself. Well, I guess just because this might be the last dungeon, um, I think I'm going to just fight everyone. Let's begin the field study. Okay, well, we start it with this awesome move. Perfect analysis. It's one of my favorite moves right now. I mean, it's a bit OP. So the dark one. And then slash, I think. But is there a slash for a single opponent? Maybe. Well, I think either way, let's try the wind one, because the wind one will reduce uh, the opponent's stats, and that's always good. Yes. Okay. Focus and then use Soul Fire Cannon. Okay. Soul Fire Drain yet again. And then uh, we use. Wait. We can do Slash, right? Which one's Slash? Well, let's do Bloodstorm. Which is a mirror thing. <laughs> Focus and Bloodstorm. It was a parry, even though it was a slash. Why, why do you do this to me? <laughs> Let's do another wind attack, because that did quite a bit to their stats, and I think we deserve to have that done to their stats. So let's uh, make a mirror, let's focus, and let's uh, do this wind attack. I'll move their stats down a bit. Excellent. Alright. Back to Soulfire Dawn yet again. Drain Zone? Yeah. Wow, more level ups. That's good. We like to see it. Water. Interesting background for this part. We are very sad to announce you're going to get fried. We already know the weaknesses to this one. Yep, so it's um. Soul Fire Drain. <coughs> um. Either Pierce or Earth. The Pierce one relies on our lost HP, but the Earth one... Oh well, we'll just do the Earth one. Oh wait, we first have to do the Wind one. Everyone has to begin with the Wind one no matter what, I'm pretty sure. That's just the rules. That's just how it goes. And I kind of want to lose, um... Health. Ah, oh, but from air, because air will provide that useful uh, attack due to reduced um, damage. Oh well. What's this? Oh, you restore health. I forgot about that part. That makes it even more OP. I forgot about that. Um, yeah. Awaken Mirror. I think it's Slash, right? No. Oh, I used the wrong one. Oh well. This one's going to be funny. This one's going to be good anyway. Wow, that was even returned. Okay, let's, um... Awaken Thanatos. And let's do the Earth one. Hmm, that wasn't too strong anyway. Huh. 
hurt to hear. Do a little bit of hurting to hear. Okay, we can't attack them for their damage. I told you to attack here, not that guy. Wait. That's magic, so let's just use this in front of the drain. So that we don't use any magic. Let's use uh, Awaken Mirror. And use. Ah, I should have used the Pierce one, not the Slash one. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Perfect. All these uh, weapons left behind. Don't have a lot of combat dart on you, let's correct that, that's true, let's do, let's get that perfect analysis going. Weak to dark, perfect. And, uh, holy, do we have any holy here? No, only on one of the others. Um, earth though, and pierce. Let's try... Let's do some earth, I guess. Oh, we'll start with the Nero, the, the usual, uh, the wind attack. Because that one's very popular and very effective. Oh, not the imperviousness to um, physical attacks. more wind. <coughs> okay. Yeah, at this point, I guess we'll just keep doing the same uh, <laughs> wind. I want to see if it actually reduces there. 120 and 90 on the left, and let's see if it reduces it to the point where they... Nah, it doesn't reduce it below that. Okay, so it's just stacking. It's not even stacking properly, but that... Oh, well, because it, it's not supposed to. But it is refreshing the number of turns left, I think. Which is good enough, I suppose. But other than that, we can just stay with the Soul Fire Cannon because they're weak to dark, so why wouldn't we, you know? Where you were once rich, poor, intelligent, simple, you are now equal in the eyes of your brothers and sisters. And thou shalt partake in the bread and the wine of the Lord alongside your fellow man. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as one loves the Lord. So many battles. Let's begin the field study. Okay. Yes, the field study. Perfect analysis. I like the design of this. This is very cool. What is its weaknesses? Earth and strike. Okay. Any earth or strike here? Um... Ah yes, there's the Wailing Havoc. I like the Strike one. It's one of my favorites. Legend Thanatos. Um, so we have to use 16, a different type of 16? Let's focus armor though. Use 20. Well, we'll use 14 first, and then we'll uh, use this. Perfect. Can we use 12? This one uses 11, right? Yeah. 
Excellent. to see it. Got a better, better, better wolf soul fire there. Awaken that Thanatos. Do a little bit of focus and then do a little bit of wailing havoc. Excellent. Black Miasma Vial. This one, let's just chuck a lot of dark at it. I don't really... We can just chuck a lot of dark at it, right? Oh no, we, we'll do the Nero thing first. We'll weaken it a little bit first. Using this. Okay, I see. I see where you're going at. Where you're getting it. So fire cannon, nice. And then we'll use something, I don't know. What is it we can uh, resist strike? Maybe pierce. Is there a piercing thing here? Hmm. weak against holy, no. Yeah, we have some piercing. We'll use cannon thrust. <coughs> Just lots of cannon, right? Dark and Slash. Well, that's perfect. Slash is the which one? Oh, it's just the... Invoke Nero. But we'll do... We'll, we'll do Nero. We'll start with Wind and then we'll go to that one. Fire cannon. So far, dream. Attack, nice, nice. So far, cannon, yet again. So far, dream. Yeah, this is a good, that's good. Nice fight. Okay, so, up here, save time, the tower sentence is only for those who wish to walk with the Lord, for the Lord wishes to be with his children, sounds very much like the scripture of a Christian God, I don't want to fight these people down here, I think we're fine not fighting anymore, let's just skip through them, don't necessarily need to, because we don't need to level up. Purgatory is for those who lift, wish to live among their fellow humans. For the Lord loves all his children equally, even those who would not walk with him. The champions of purgatory will lead the world in the Lord's stead. For the Lord believes that the time has come for humanity to govern themselves. I saw Vanessa move up ahead, but I didn't want to follow. Watch from here, is she? 
This is as far as I go, friend. If you need anything from me now, is the time to stock up. Thought so. Nice knowing you, friend. <laughs> Well, we obviously need all of these that we can get, and nothing else, because we don't use anything else. This is nice. This feels like final vibes. Oh, water. Cool. Hmm, big circle thing in ground? What is this? I haven't seen this symbol before. What's it mean? What the? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Are you okay? Ah, the heck is happening here? Hold on here, I will, uh... Oh wow, everyone's consumed by blue fire. <coughs> oh, we're pillars. Or graves? What is this feeling? It's cold, dark. What is it you want? What was that? Who are you? What is it you want? What I want? To save Vanessa, of course. Why? To fulfill my promise to Mia. But you killed her. Yeah, yeah, I did. I don't need some disembodied voice to remind me of that. You killed her. You destabilized a kingdom. You destroyed any hope humanity had to survive. Your soul is forever stained black by your actions. You have no place in our new kingdom. Who are you? What do you want from me? Who do you believe me to be? What the? The you that flees from pain? The you that tried to reason the unreasonable? The you who pushes away loved ones while demanding to be loved? The you who discards beliefs the minute they lose convenience? The you who forsook the path of compromise knowing how much it would hurt those who you care for? Stop it. It's shrinking upwards, it's funny. Oh wait, it just looks like it's shrinking, but it's not. What is this? What's going on? So you see it too? Huh, what are you doing here? They're right, you know. He speaks nothing but truth about my actions, yet I never once believed him. He? I tried it. I tried hard to fight against the end of the world. I fought gore on the man I once loved to the death because I didn't want to accept the inevitable end. I lost my mind to violence that day and left my home to wander the world, aimlessly killing every monster I could find in the hopes that maybe I could make a difference. But your father, Thane, brought me back from despair. He gave me a purpose again. He helped me see that I wasn't powerless, even against an unkillable enemy. Until his betrayal, then I was alone again. Turn the people into infused to save them? Ha, huh, they couldn't be further from the truth. The truth is, the only one I wanted to save was myself. I knew there was no going back after murdering Goron. The only way I could go forward was by going down. So I went down and down and down, ignoring the toll each new atrocity took on my heart because I would have given anything for it all to mean something. It's not too late. We're not dead yet, and no one else knows about Kakuti. If anyone's got a shot at setting this right, it's us. Maybe we don't have the right to get, help people anymore after what we've done, but if we keep looking for meaning in our past actions, then we'll never be able to move forward. Vanessa, let's take our lives back from our pasts. You and I will decide our futures from here on. I want to believe you, but out my heart and mind all tell me that it's impossible. I don't think I can stop myself any longer. No worries. As soon as I bust out of this place, I'll track you down and drag you out of this tower. <laughs> I won't give up on you, Vanessa. Neither of us are going to get, take the easy way out of this. Interesting. Reaching past his anger, Ear has finally taken his first step forward to changing himself. Ear has learned to fire of ruin. Oh, cool design of those, uh, the, the yellow going downwards here. The healing power prevalent throughout the Tower of Sinners can no longer be felt. Ooh. The chaotic energy of sin floods into your limbs. HP has been fully restored. Oh, wow. Of sin. These crystals restore you using sin. <laughs> ah, here it is good to see you here, huh? Come on, quit jerking my chain. 
Cynical as always, I see, while I only speak the truth. You being here means you went through something similar to me, correct? Yet here you are, a clear sign that you and I walk the same path. Now I have no doubts as to your intentions. You look quite troubled by that. Well, normally I'd say something along the lines of how I never back down on my word, but with all that's happened, I ne don't get to make those kinds of claims anymore. Indeed not. However, I wonder what kind of person truly would be able to make such a claim. Either they've been a spoiled baby their whole life, or they're pathetically naive. Or a person that this god has already whisked away from us all. Yeah, do you believe we have a reason to live? Some kind of destiny we were born to fulfill? If I had one, I'd sure like to know it. But I don't think we're going to find it here. Let's grab Vanessa and Scram. We'll all figure out this destiny stuff later. Very well. Ahem. It's... I knew you wouldn't stay down for long. The death glare is getting old, Rayson. Why don't you try mixing up a bit? Oh, would you rather I just kill you and be done with it? You know, for someone who cares so much about Sarah, you sure do ignore her a whole lot. What was that, you little punk? She had come to terms with losing her father, only to just learn that she'd been there protecting her the whole time. He'd been there protecting her the whole time. Why don't you just take a guess how it must feel for her to see you throw yourself into danger over and over again? I... Look, I'm not going to tell you what the right path is. That's not my call to make. It sounds like you just did. But oh well. <laughs> if you want to throw down now, come at me. But if you'd rather spend what time you have left with your daughter, I bet you she'd appreciate it a whole lot. Is this really Mr. Dark Knight talking? Who even are you? I'm the Dark Knight you know and loathe, who opened his eyes a little too late. <laughs> it's not too late for you, Rayson. Sarah, he's right. I don't want to lose you again. All right, Mr. Dark Knight, you win. What do you what you two do from here is up to you. I just need your help getting out of this place for now. Okay. Hey man, good to see you made it out here too. Luke, I'm sorry, Ear. Yeah. For all my talk about how good of a person you need to be, I'm probably the worst human in existence. Oh man, what happened to you in there? What did you see? I didn't care about the infused. I just wanted to get away from Asla, but was too scared to go alone. When I saw you facing those knights in Honolith's ruins, I saw it as an opportunity to finally flee. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to escape pain. Really? That goes against his... Well, maybe it is part of his personality. I just haven't explored it yet. And hey, you worked out all right in the end, so don't beat yourself up too much over it. I'm just a little bit confused why you didn't say this to Mia. <laughs> you said to everyone else, don't beat yourself up too much over it. Well, you're saying it to him right now, but... What about Mia? <laughs> she... Didn't do anything wrong, right? I don't know. Anyway, I have might be misinterpreting. <laughs> I know how much you hate Vanessa for what she did to you. I understand how you feel. But maybe, just maybe, she's a victim in all this too. Are you expecting me to forgive her? Because I don't think I ever will. It's fine. Regardless of her reason, the harm she did to you and the others are real enough. What's important right now is what you do from here. Well, Luke, let's hear your answer. What do you want to do now? Logically speaking, Vanessa has the best chance of saving the people of Asala, including the infused. There's no one else that the people can rally behind on such a short notice. If that's the case, then I have to make sure she doesn't try making more infused. To do that, I'll have to work with the other infused to try and undo her brainwashing. Sounds like a plan, but to do that, we need to get out of this place. How about it, Luke? You with me? Always. Trill, I knew a place like that couldn't keep you down. Yeah. What did you see in there, Trill? What does air mean? You're not anywhere near as clingy as you usually are. What's on your mind? 
Trill not know, that is why that is what is most scary. Trill was happy in clan. Trill had purpose and family. But Trill also not think for self. Clan decided what Trill wanted. Ear never did that. Ear got angry when Trill asked for instructions. Trill was miserable, but eventually Trill learned to think for self now. Because of Ear, Trill learned things about self that would never have learned back in clan. You give me too much credit. I'm not the great teacher you think I am. Okay. <laughs> I was so convinced that the whole world was against me that I shut my ears to the few voices that were trying to help me. And now Mia's dead. She's dead because I didn't bother trying to listen to her and understand her situation. So if there's anyone here that you should thank, it's yourself. You saw the same things I did in our journey, but you never thought to fight back like I did. You kept wanting to push forward and learn the truth, even when you're scared of what the truth is. That's a decision you made yourself, you know. I had, I had nothing to do with it. If anything, I think I should take a few pages from your book. Trill does not know what to say. Trill never knew if felt that way. Vanessa must be in a similar situation as me. She was so convinced that her path was right that she couldn't accept the possibility of a better solution. I wonder if I would have done the same thing in her position. When I think about it like that, I just can't turn my back and walk away from her. That's why I'm going to keep on fighting until I save her. I won't tell you to help me anymore. You're your own person now, Trill, so you make the choice you feel is right for you. If you want to stay here, I'll come back for you before bailing out of here. Trill agrees with air. Trill cannot turn away while Vanessa suffers alone. No one should ever have to suffer alone. Then it sounds like break time's over. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Oh, those sin globs are gone. Goodbye, sin globs. I think I'm going to dodge all these monsters. Because I don't really feel like fighting them right now. <laughs> This is too many of them, and I think I'm already... It would be nice to have the final battle be a bit of a challenge, because up till now I've been over-leveled. So skipping those monsters, maybe they'll help me. Look, up ahead. I hear footsteps. God, is that you, God? You're there, aren't you? Oh no, Vanessa, why are you bleeding from your eyes? I knew it. I knew I would find you if I kept looking. The moment I first laid eyes on this tower, I knew you were real. Vanessa, it hurts to see you in such a pitiful state. Climbing the tower alone must have taken its toll on her. Huh, those voices. Sorry, Vanessa, but God isn't coming. He's the faithless, it's why. It's you again. Why must you insist on tormenting me further? Haven't I done enough harm? I'm actually feeling for Vanessa right now. Look at her, so sad. I promised I would never bother you or anyone again, so please just leave me alone. She was a little discriminatory against another race, though, so it's still... I would like for her to have some penitence, but hey. If you're looking for peace, you won't find it here. He's right, Vanessa. Even the so-called paradise exists. Simply traveling there will not... Even if the so-called paradise exists, simply traveling there will not mend your broken heart. All of these souls, and not a single one of them made it to paradise. Oh, wait. Those wounds keep you from seeing the evidence in plain sight all around us. How do you know? Surely some would have made it. What makes you think I can't go as well? Trill not know what paradise is, but... Trill sees nothing cheerful about this. Shut up, mana. Oh, there we go. The racism comes out. What would you know? You're just a monster. No matter what kind of place paradise is. Well, I had a little bit of hesitation, so... A very hesitant, but still raging racist... <laughs> It has to be better than this hellhole we were in. Man, you just don't get it, do you? You really think God will be happy to see if he knew you abandoned everyone on this earth to meet him? This isn't the way to forgiveness, Vanessa. Simply kneeling and praying won't be enough to absolve, it, absolve us. 
the prayer of the faithless. <laughs> Yet again, so it's all hopeless then, is that what you're saying? That our lifelong struggle amounted to nothing? We suffer and die in this horrible world, we commit terrible atrocities in the slim hope that our lives can be extended by just a single day, only for God to throw it all away at the end like it was meaningless. That was one of the most powerful lines in the whole game. It's just true, too, true, true, cruel. I finally think I know what the game story is aiming for with the themes of God and belief and faith. It's a lot more literal, the faithless prayer type thing. It just doesn't really show its head early on. But yeah, interesting. And it's time to find a meaning for ourselves. Cruelty leads to cruelty. The worse the world gets, the lower people like us sink. If we keep going like this, we'll end up right here, actually. We know where this road ends up, Vanessa. Right here. <laughs> Despite how it may feel, it's not too late to take a different turn. We can clean your eyes and your skin. <laughs> how dare you stand here and say it to me after everything you've done? You and I are hypocrisy incarnate. Selfish, amoral scumbags who can't fall any farther. So what makes you think we're forced to stick to the path that we deserve? I know you still want to help Asala. If you don't feel guilty about it, you wouldn't have come all the way here. So embrace the hypocrisy inside you, drop the self-righteous sacrifice act, and go back to Asala and do something about this. You are an affront to all that is good in this world. Before I die, I will ensure that you will never again poison this world. This is the least I can do after all you've done. So you're still going to be a slave to justice, huh? Fine. Let's fight. Then I'll set you free. <laughs> is this just him alone? Stop leaving me alone. She's flailing around like a crazed bull. We ain't gonna get through to her like this. We must calm Vanessa down. Should we subdue her? No, look at all her wounds. She's already on the verge of death. If we fight her, we might kill her by accident. Looks like we need to change tactics. Here, yeah, can you help her with your soul fire power? Yeah, I'm on it. Hold still, Vanessa. It'll be over soon. No matter what happens, I won't let you die. Well. Can't heal her? What do you mean? I thought you could heal her. What? Ah. Oh, there we go. Easy. And then it's focus, yeah. Easy. Hollow heart. Oh no, what the heck? Okay. Heal her. Oh, this is an interesting battle. Wait, oh we can't see what they're weak against because we don't have the um, nerdy do Thanatos dang it Okay, cool. I thrashed against them. Death wish. Ouch. Parry of the earth. Oh no. Why? Let's keep healing no matter what. Whoa, they look like shadows of us. This is a very cool and unique battle. I like this. Oh, 
Oopsie. No, don't devour her. That's not very nice of you. There's so many opponents, what the heck? Oh yeah, this is good that they're reversing it. But. Oh no. Someone revive. Well, there's so many of them. Adrenaline flask. Maybe we need to do an attack on all. A wind on all. Wind attack on all. No. But it was necessary. At least for that. Soul fire drain on one of them and then heal next turn. <laughs> okay. Heal the enemy. Focus. Infernal Dawn. We can't soul fire bar barrage. We have to uh Nero it. And then focus. <laughs> Sorry, let me see if we have more enough room to keep recording. Yep, we do. Do this again. Yep. And then uh, Infernal Dawn. <coughs> Heal the enemy. And do some sort of soul fire drain on one of these punters. Awesome. Yeah, we love to see it. train this person. Ah, oh, almost got them. Um, Infernal Dawn. I think we need to heal everyone here. We can't. Whoopsie. 
Oh well. Heal self first. <laughs> and then the rest. Oh. Did we heal her enough? I can see. Yeah, we healed her enough, I think. How about it? Get all the frustration out of your system? Yeah, it's not that easy, is it? A whole lifetime of failure and regret isn't so easy to scrub away in a brawl. I told you that I want to die here. I want the pain to end. Then why are you hesitating? I think it's because you're not quite ready to give up yet. Something inside you is saying that maybe, just maybe, there's some way out of this. But you're being betrayed by that hope over and over again. You're not sure if it's worth putting yourself together yet again. It's easy to believe that humanity is cruel and unforgiving, and that there's always they're always willing to throw each other to the wolves for their our own personal benefit. Let me try that sentence again. It's easy to believe that humanity is cruel and unforgiving, and that they're always willing to throw each other to the wolves for our own pe personal benefit. We're always willing? Then we see the circumstances they're in and realize that they're just to survive like we are. So we think maybe we're the victims, and it's the world that's cruel and unforgiving? But that's not the truth either, is it? The truth is that I'm here, you're here. And that's about it. I'm tired here. Yeah. That's a nice conclusion to make. I know, I'm tired too. Tired of all the crap, I guess, is the thing. Someone broke out of a coffin. Oh, it was us. Developed by Red Nova. Oh, this reminds me of uh, <laughs> breaking out of a coffin in uh, Eco. Character designer, Red Nova. Excellent. Vanessa comes? Character sprites, Red Nova and Unity. <laughs> Original soundtrack, Eric Ramos. The soundtrack was brilliant in this game. Enemy designs, Unity. Ah, I was wondering who did the enemy designs. I was like, did Red Nova do these? And that was definitely Unity's feeling designs kind of like weird and unfortunate things ah they went to get the last one, Red Nova Unity, Rainbow Jello scripts, Arkea, Galvia Fly, Tsukihime, Fuma, Raphael Yami, Neon, Funarizen, Edida Kuroboba, Dakita GRS, Zusha's Music Special thanks Unity, Rodan, Great Red Spirit, Joseph Seraph, Makio Kuta Never Silent Nice. The fog. Overcomes all. Saved. Thank you for completing Prayer of the Faithless. New options are now available in the options menu. That's cool. <laughs> New options in the options menu? Oh. That just, uh... Where do we find the options? In a previous save? Permanently destroy a save point to fully heal the party for those confident they're right planning. Oh, that's cool. Chaos quest settings. More XP from stronger enemies. Oh, okay. Allied damage rate. Oh, wow. Item gamble. <laughs> I didn't even check these. 
Wait. If I save this, so were those the settings? Or is it when you start a new game? I don't know. Were they always there? I can't even remember. <laughs> anyway, wow, what a game. I wonder what the end what the endings are going to look like. I'm going to look at Bug Fragged's uh, playthrough as well. Just to, just to see how their ending went. Very interesting. I'm tired ending. What did, wait, actually, what is this, what did the, um, you know, I got the, uh, the tired ending. Try to change yourself for the better. Whether you succeed or not is anyone's guess. <laughs> yeah, that's the ending I got. I don't know, I might, uh, I want to know if there's, if that, the chaos settings are the unlocked stuff. Or if I just never saw them before, or what. Prayer of the Faithless. Because there are four endings. I know that. I read that up. But I didn't read how to get them. And I think I got the one where it survives. But yeah. I will look that, I'll look that all up later. But I'll give my final thoughts. See Goron, we finish them off. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Options. Yeah. Oh, the Chaos Quest settings were always there. Or were they not? I don't even know. Because <laughs> I never looked there. Anyway. <laughs> okay, here's the title screen. Prayer of the Faithless. What an interesting game. I'm quite... I'm tired. It is 12.48 a.m. Early in the morning. So I will probably be a bit tired. And I will have to create something different like a review to be written on steam and on the rmm page for this but my overall thoughts on this game wow another red nova game um after in the world of soul sunder after the events of soul sunder a sort of apocalyptic downer saga intended to just bring a sort of very uh a very I don't know if it's dark and depressing view on humanity as a whole and the apocalypse and see these two characters right here you have Air an upside down <laughs> quirky uh, main character and then you have Mia it looks like she's quite downcast and sad um, and the thing is there's a sort of strange love dynamic between them but there's a sort of strange like rivalry um, that happens between them it's interesting to sort of see how such a a, a willfully fragmented storyline sort of comes together in ways i feel it really does come together and i think where red nova's storytelling abilities are at uh, all-time high are in the moment executing certain things um i really love the graphics of this one the battle system was complex and while it was very difficult at some points it was also uh, challenging in a good way, especially on my, upon my second playthrough, all the way up to that um, swamp, the toxic swamp, um, uh, which I might get through to in my, my uh, you know, more constructive criticisms of the game. But uh, the swamp, from then on, it became a lot more easy, and I just kind of breezed through everything else pretty easily. And that might have been because I was just, like, fighting monsters um i was dodging monsters in the first playthrough and therefore i wasn't strong enough and then by the second time i was just fighting every monster and it was decent challenge until you know the raft and then after then it just became super easy but um there's always going to be the cute teenage dramas and the and the twists and the turns and reversals that red nervous uh known for as for the particular ending I got, I'm going to have to sit on it because 
I feel like there are some themes that were just complexly chucked around um, and I have to sort of dwell on it and think on it because that was quite a sudden ending um, so I'll have to have more crystallized thoughts later on but I think um, you know there were themes of uh, judgment of mankind a, a renewing of mankind uh, being possible at the end the the town was overcome by the city was overcome by fog meaning did all the inhabitants that were there pass away I'm not can't remember um, the themes of God's judgment being real but then there's these you know containment pods uh, at the very core of the tower meeting was the the paradise that was promised so good after all or was it something truly horrifying and blinding like what happened to Vanessa Vanessa was a really lovely character in the end even though she was very you know racist I think it was a <laughs> it was a good counterpoint I do like in stories like this when you have characters that are flawed and that will come to my maybe my constructive criticisms or my criticisms well my, my, the ways sorry I should rephrase it some of the ways that the story sometimes bounced off me were when I felt like air was being too perfect that could have been a thing I do I do love the idea of the yin and the yang as, as sort of indicated in this title screen you have the idealism of Nia you have the cynicism of air and you have them contrasting against each other he he has a sort of anhedonic anhedonic uh, view of, of feeling of navigating life he he's in the malaise he doesn't care about anything in that sort of edgy teenage way I guess as well he's sort of you know cheeky but sometimes the cheekiness belies his you know caring about stuff and I would have maybe liked to see him get schooled for actually caring about things because I think it's impossible for someone to care about nothing at all and I think he does care about things but he just hides it in a very labyrinthine way and it sometimes makes me want someone to put him in his place <laughs> and they did but they did it in a very guilt inducing way which was interesting I felt I mean that's the way that religion can do it but Mia I did like Mia I liked Mia as a character a lot actually um, probably because she reflects my idealism in the way that I well no I feel like her idealism was a form of realism, like she was trying to combat a truly uh, hopeless situation with hope, which isn't a bad thing. And then sometimes it was sort of punished, and I wasn't too sure about that. But it, they, it also depicted her as crying a lot, and I was like, why does she cry a lot? Like, But there was, I mean, I'll focus also on the things that were very positive about this. It, I never felt truly bored throughout the entire experience. There was always, as written over as want, there's always a, a conflict being explored. There's always something uh, interesting happening on the screen. You know, whether it's through these long passages of like uh, conversations between people uh, and arguments and so on, there's always this tension that sort of undercuts, which makes drama worthwhile. That's the essence of you know the Shakespearean drama model which is um, a great one to you know it's been sadly neglected in modern TV with you know the likes of nostalgia cash grabs and stuff lately but this was really good and it makes me it honestly makes me feel like making some sort of fan story or fan game in this universe because it's such a well realized universe with good world building nice locations much like Soul Sunder, even though it is set in a large world, it does feel small because there's only two real towns. Real cities, sorry. There's locations in between which are like dungeons and stuff, but even one of the cities doesn't really seem to have the hustle and a bustle about it. The only hustle and a bustle, well, is actually hustle and bustle of the main city of Arsala. And then there's this, the, the um, what's it called? the uh, castle with um, the mana in it they just had all of them having a wonderful time in there and I really loved that they were just having a wonderful time like little I think they were like little children right um, innocent um, 
to the plight that was going to overcome them. So it was really sad what happened in the end, but yeah, a lot to think about. I might have to view some plot details that were happening over the course of these videos, but overall, I must say it's a very unique game. Um, it's very unique in the way it tackles some of its subjects, just like Red is one to have read over. The battle system, in my opinion, is the most interesting, well, one of the most interesting things about this game. The battle system is complex and interesting and could be used further. It doesn't need to stop here, but uh, it's very, very interesting. And um, it was almost too complex, but like, it could be used in, say, multiplayer games or, or just in an arena-style game where you have to <laughs> come up with all these different things. Because there's a lot of story in this game, which meant that maybe there was less time to explore all the different ways that the combat could go out. I don't know, it's very difficult. And the very fact that you could use one of three actions per turn, but you could use any of the three actors, and then I just ended up using one actor a lot of the time if I was strong enough because um, they had a really good move and that well, it's, it's what makes it hard to balance I wonder if it would have been and I know this might go against Red Nova's entire design and balance philosophy but it might have even been better to have one person if one, one attack from each person and you could have them in any order I don't know it, it, it seems like it would <laughs> restrict the the style that this game is going for but I mean I think it could work well but I don't know it's just much harder to balance the system like this but I think at the very least it's very ambitious and reaches far and I really really am happy that this game exists I'm going to give reviews to it on Steam and RPGmaker.net and I have so much to say about it. it's 1am and I'm getting tired and I need to stop somewhere, but there's a lot to think about about this game, and thank you for creating it, Red Nova, I appreciate it very much, I know that you spend a lot of time on this, and I'm very appreciative of whichever way it goes, it's that the fact that you finished it is something to be, um, you know, marveled at, and just really amazing, and I can't wait to see what comes next, thank you so much, um, until next time, I'm Benny, this was RPG Man Cola, we're playing Prayer of Faithless. Over and out. See you later. Bye.